Hey guys, it's Cast here. Welcome to another video review. So today I've got here for you guys the Logitech G400 uh, gaming mouse. So it's I've been uh, I just put out a review for the Steel Series Sensei, and it's I guess it's quite a quick one this time. I put out another review for the Logitech G400. So the G400 it came out about uh, in. July of 2011, so July of this year. It's uh, still quite a new mouse, and um, I decided to do a review on it because, I mean, it was just really, really cheap, and it was it is the new release of the uh, Logitech MX518. So the MX518, just a quick introduction, that was released many many years ago, and it had the same uh, form factor. So it was kind of like the Sensei to the Zai, actually. Um, this is basically a carbon copy of the MX518. It had a great shape, it had a great ergonomic, it had a great sensor, etc. So I'll just show you uh, the shape of the mouse first of all. So we've got the front here, and we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 6, sorry. I can't count. Um, on this side, 7, 8 buttons, and we have this like indentation here. And then from this side, we have kind of a little bit of a indentation here for you for you to grip the right hand side of the finger and then you have bottom of the mouse which is um the sensor is placed in the middle and it's kind of a it's very very flat kind of shape so you can see that that's where the shape of the mouse so um basically it's the same as the mx518 a lot of people uh really really like the 518 and uh i guess the logitech ran with that and decided to release a new one since it was so good why not uh, like refresh it one time you know so if you have like the MX518 uh, some would say why would you want to get this so there are a couple upgrades that uh, they did with the Logitech G400 that is uh, better than the 518 first of all if you remember what the 518 looked like it was a very very shiny coaty plastic kind of feeling over the top and here we have uh, the G400, it's the, they, they used a new kind of, um, the build quality just feels a lot more solid if you can uh, see close here. The, they use the kind of like matte surface right here, which is very similar to like the Steel Series. It's very, very similar to the Steel Series, like this kind of surface. Um, and the top, they incorporated some kind of a silverish, uh, dark grayish uh, color, which, and then they used a kind of a, kind of slightly shiny kind of surface if you can like, see that so all in all is actually a very very good uh, build quality and the good thing about this mouse is that Logitech offers a three-year uh, limited hardware warranty which is absolutely fantastic because this mouse is built so 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 well like compared to a razor mice uh, razor mouse which may break very, very easily this mouse uh, you like you can tell from the, the look of it and just the build quality, it's so awesomely built. It won't break, you can use it probably for many, many years. So people who have used the MX518 have used it for many years, so it's absolutely awesome. So the specs, sorry, uh, I've been digressing a lot. The specs, the upgrade to the sensor, so it's 3600 uh, DPI now. Uh, and it now uses on the fly, which is a Razer's like, technology, but it uses like on the fly, uh, so it's always on, which is very good. As a thousand uh, hertz uh, polling rate, which means that it just it just becomes more uh, your mouse just becomes more responsive uh, on the screen, which is also nice. Um, I think that's it for in terms of the uh, upgrades. Well, I guess they upgraded the Teflon feet as well. So overall, it's just like a remake of the 518. The ergonomics of it, uh, like I will just briefly explain it. So it's a very very uh, let me get into it. It's a very very high mouse, let's just say, as compared to, them. There's, if you can see the side, it's quite low comparison. This one is very, very high. And the, the highest point on the center, like for example the side, it's much, much more centered to the back, uh, as it was where the arch is, and it's very low. Whereas the Logitech G400, it's a very high mouse, and the highest point on the mouse is actually uh, closer to the front, like middle front part. So your f uh, fingers actually go up in the front more rather than at the back, like that you have for the side. So that's kind of, kind of a feel for it. It's an ergonomic mouse, um, and you have this indentation for your uh, thumb, which is uh, qu quite nice. It's just, so you just hold it like that, which is very nice as well. 
and on the right hand side you have just indentation for your fourth finger. Um, definitely it resembles more of a very very Logitech, it resembles Logitech G500 more except the Logitech G500 it tilts your hand to the right a little bit whereas the Logitech MX, uh, MX518 is much more uh, tilts it back, so it's much more centralized, it's much more balanced in that, in that sense. Um, overall, uh, that's about it. It's very, very cheap. It's like 40, you can find it for like, usually it's retail for $45, $50 US, but I've seen it for sale for like $40 uh, US, $35 US. In Hong Kong, it sells for 285 I think, or to 300 Hong Kong, so it's uh, the equivalent, about the same. So in terms of a price uh, per performance uh, mouse, I mean, value for performance mouse is definitely uh, awesome mouse, it ranks up there, I would definitely say, with the i3.0 as well, as one of the top performing, uh, like, just, just good, very good, good quality, very good value for what you're paying for. Uh, obviously, it's a lot cheaper than the Sensei, but um, it has its uh, perks, I guess. It's very well built. Um, overall, would I use this mouse long term? Mm, I'm, I'm seriously considering keeping this mouse, though, because it is uh, quite special in its uh, shape. And but although it does feel a little bit bulky, I personally I do enjoy uh, the shape of the design more, the shape of the death adder more. But I can see why some people would like this mouse. Personally, I prefer the others, but I'm not hating on the MX518 or the Logitech G400. But that's just my personal opinion. Anyways, but definitely, uh, I it's definitely well recommended. Uh, I would give it uh, if to buy or not to buy. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap mouse, this is definitely a mouse to get. Um, so this is my review of the Logitech uh, G400. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you guys comment, subscribe, whatever you like. Hopefully I'll be putting out more videos. Thanks, guys.